Today we are going to be talking about the very first cars that led to the modern day automobile. Hello and welcome to Sir Yesterday where we talk about cool history videos that shouldn't be forgotten. If that sounds like your kind of channel then be sure to hit that subscribe button to see more of our content in the future. But back to the show. While many people associate the Model T as the origin of cars, and that's not technically wrong, it actually has origins dating back to 1765 with a Swiss engineer by the name of Nicholas Joseph Cugnot, who actually built the first working steam-powered vehicle, or horseless carriage as it was referred to in the times. However, it honestly must have felt like it did barely more than putting a sail on the thing because it barely reached a, or could barely reach up to three miles per hour. It could only drive for a maximum of 20 minutes before you had to refill the massive water tank in the front. Coupled with that, the maintaining proper pressure was apparently an absolute nightmare. So the vehicle was mainly used for towing cannons. Skip ahead to 1803 and Richard Trevithick actually made it possible to carry passengers in his London Steam Carriage. Richard took advantage of gear ratios, allowing the vehicle to actually climb hills successfully, as well as reach a maximum of 9 miles per hour. However, in a cruel twist of fate, while the vehicle was parked in the nearby shed, it caught fire and the vehicle was destroyed leaving only pictures and first-hand accounts. Getting out of the steam-powered era and into the more gas-powered, the first two-stroke engine was created by Etienne Lenore. During his debut of the car, he drove it for seven miles, but at just under two miles per hour, so just a little slower than somebody walking. Two miles an hour may seem like a bit of a step backwards, but progress doesn't happen overnight and there were several adaptations of the two-stroke over the next few years. However, the biggest improvement was yet to come. In 1885, Carl Benz, owner of Mercedes-Benz, invented what he called the Benz Patent Motor Wagon, which was the first four-stroke on an automobile. This allowed for it to reach a maximum speed of about 8 miles per hour, as well as drive for exceptionally long periods of time than its predecessors. And with that, the world finally had the most realistic version of what would become the automobile. Albeit, a little different in looks. Quick side note, actually. It was a wealthy investor who bought several of Carl's vehicles and, and then offered him that he would continue buying more and help promote the vehicle if he named the new one uh, after his daughter, and subsequently the company. His daughter's name, of course, Mercedes. Benz's adaptation of the four-stroke engine created a bit of a domino effect over the next several years, with every couple of years popping up a brand new type of automobile, until finally Ford ma nailed the design on the head with his Model T, a design which could be mass manufactured on production lines. And then, the horseless carriages were no longer exclusively for the wealthy. So that was our video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If there was any of the vehicles that you would have just loved to drive, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of this content in the future, and I shall see you next time.